service. Andrew Bridgen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In October 2020, the Medicines and Healthcare Product Regulatory Agency awarded a contract worth £1.5 million to a company called Gempax to use artificial intelligence to analyse yellow card adverse event reports associated with the COVID-19 injections. There's no evidence of any tendering process. It appears that Gempax was the only supplier considered. Even cursory due diligence shows a huge conflict of interest, with Gempax having long-term massive contracts with AstraZeneca and Pfizer. Can we therefore have an urgent debate on the failings of the MHRA in both their regulation of the experimental COVID-19 injections, as detailed in the fantastic Perseus report, and also their failure by awarding the yellow card oversight to a deeply conflicted company in Gempact? Well, the, as the Honourable Gentleman knows, this is, a, this is probably a question to ask the Department for Health, and uh, as a point of information for him, the next questions for that are on the 6th of June. He uh, can ask ministers directly uh, on, on this and any other matter. He can also apply for a backbench business debate. He can apply for a Westminster Hall debate. He can apply for an adjournment debate. Uh, and he knows that he will be called to speak. Anyone can look at Hansard and see that the Honourable Gentleman is regularly called to speak in debates and in questions, as he has been today, by whoever is in the chair. He can table questions and early day motions, and he is free, of course, course, to tour media studios, uh, speak to the press uh, and put out his views on social uh, media. How he chooses to use these opportunities is up to him. Uh, 